You're looking out at the AccraSure Arena camera. We are still tracking those gusty Santa Ana winds, although the flag not moving as much as it was yesterday. So we are starting to see some improving conditions here. The weather alert will expire at 10 o'clock this morning, and we're starting to see the dew points come up a little bit. The air quality has returned to the good range. This is a major improvement, not just for the Coachella Valley, but for uh, all of the reporting region. There's just a small pocket of moderate air quality uh, out near the coast. The wind speeds are strongest through the past. That's going to continue to be the case today, and even these winds will start to settle down. But right now, those winds a steady 30 mile per hour wind through the past. Uh, here on the valley floor, much lighter. Only one reporting station on the valley floor above 10 miles per hour. And all of the focus now, the wind advisories and the high wind warnings are all to the west of the valley. This high wind warning does cover a little bit of that area right along and north of the freeway through Desert Hot Springs. But otherwise, this is really a focus uh, west of the valley as those winds begin to slowly settle down. Trough moving in is going to start to turn our winds more onshore over the next couple of days. So as we move toward the end of the week, Stronger onshore winds will bring in some cooler temperatures today and tomorrow as well. Slightly above average temperatures, particularly to our north, wrapping around that ridge of high pressure. So you're going to see some uh, warmer than normal numbers through the middle part of the state. For us, we're going to be real close to our seasonal averages. We're just right on the edge of that warmer than normal air mass. We're at 60 in Palm Springs, 1,000 Palms. Also in the 50s now in Palm Desert, Indio Thermal. 64 in Cathedral City, 34 Big Bear and 50s through the pass. Dew points are beginning to recover. We're not seeing as many of those down in the teens. Uh, all of the dew points in the valley checking in in the 20s. That's important because as the dew points recover, rising a little bit, the threat of wildfire spread goes down. When those dew points are down in the teens and single digits, uh, it takes very little to see that spread happen. So this is a big improvement. Temperature wise, probably two or three degrees warmer than yesterday. We hit 75 yesterday. I expect numbers to be slightly above that today and tomorrow. But then, as I told you, we are going to cool off into your Thanksgiving Day weekend. Today, a weather alert only until 10 o'clock. Uh, mid to upper 70s today, tomorrow and for Thanksgiving Day. Bring on the turkey. Looks like a great day weather wise. Obviously, good news for travelers on the West Coast. Uh, the weather looks good for us uh, on both ends of the holiday. Uh, mid 70s Friday, a little bit cooler Saturday and Sunday, right around that 70 degree mark, and that's going to be true on into next week. So a touch cooler. You're looking for the sweater weather. There it is, and you'll be able to get out and enjoy those Black Friday deals with comfortable weather numbers. Let's check back in with Angela and Jeff.